It's Friday, which means it's time for me to tell you about all the exciting and maybe not so exciting upcoming makeup and skincare product releases. I'm ready. Are you ready? Ugh, okay, we have to start off with this phone case because I just can't. I just can't. So this is from Rode. This is their new phone case that holds not just a lip balm, but the Rode Peptide Lip Treatment. This is a silicone case for your phone that keeps your lip on hand. So this is compatible with only the iPhone 14 or 15 Pro Pro Max with your favorite peptide lip treatment or tint with a cushiony back. This retails for $35. It's gonna be available February 27th at 9 a.m. PST on their website. I think this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. Not only does this aesthetically look disgusting, like this just looks so, so dumb. But not only that, I have not seen a single person even like this peptide treatment. Every single person complains about this lip treatment, that it's grainy, it's salty, it's nasty, it ruins their lips, it destroys lips. Everybody hates this treatment. I'm sure there's gonna be people out there that are like, oh, I like it, good for you. But overall, the consensus that I've seen on the internet is that people absolutely hate it. They do not like it. And I just think this phone case is so stupid. Like, who wants this? Again, there's gonna be that one person that like pops out of corn that's like, I've always wanted this. No, you didn't. Yeah, immediately, no. Immediately, no. <laughs> immediately, no. Like, to me, this screams money grab. Like, this is the epitome of a money grab. And again, it's only available for, like, two and a half types of phones. Like, nobody wants this. This is so stupid. This may be the stupidest thing I've ever seen released. This is so dumb. And we're going to move on, like, as soon as possible. So, like, now. Next. Now we have an actual product release from an actual company. We have a new addition to the Good Apple family from KVD Beauty. This is their Good Apple Bronze and Sculpt Balm Duo. This retails for $36 and it includes the bronzing and sculpting shades in a creamy and blendable formula for realistic warmth, shadow, and definition that lasts all day. There's Fair 100, Light 200, Medium 300, Tan 500, and Deep 600. The Good Apple Blush Balm Duo retails for $34. It is a blendable cheek color in two creamy ultra saturated shades that has poor blurring velvety finish that lasts all day. It comes in Secret Thicket 10, which is a hidden apple, hallowed apple, terracotta rose, and rich pomegranate, Elusive Orchard 30, which is gilded apple, and glass apple, which is a light honey, soft coral, Red Meadow 50, which is thorned apple, and immortal apple, which is a true brick and bold crimson, Nymph's Grove 70, which is cryptic apple, and mythic apple, which is a deep berry and vibrant purple. These will be available February 18th online at Ulta and in-store March 3rd. Oh my gosh, I think these are so beautiful first off. I really love this concept. I love that these are cream products. These are gonna be especially great for those of you who have dry skin since they are cream-based products. I love the color combos. I think all of them look so beautiful together. I would really, really love to try these. I do love the before and after photos. I think these are so gorgeous. I do think that people, when they use cream products, they like that buildability that they can get from creams. So I really hope that is the case with these products specifically. I don't think the price point is too crazy, especially when you are getting essentially two different colors. Now keep in mind that even though you're getting two colors, you still are just essentially getting like the amount of product that you would get in one singular product since it's split in half. So do keep that in mind. But it's not like you're getting, you know, two different products at $18 per pan, it is just essentially the size of one pan for $36, so don't let them play you. But I think the colors are gorgeous. I would definitely like to try these out, so definitely worth the wait for me. So I would definitely see myself snatching this up. What about you? Next we have a reveal from Refi. This is their Lash Sculpt Mascara. This is a mascara that creates a sculpted, lifted, lengthened lash for all day lifted hold with a unique curved comb-like applicator that is designed to target each lash separating and lengthening them. This is going to be available February 21st, the day before my birthday. If anyone wants to buy me some presents, just kidding, but you could if you wanted to. Um, nobody celebrates my birthday. I don't even celebrate my birthday. I literally never have, fun fact. Anyway, this will be available online at Sephora and their website. I am not feeling this. This is giving me like octopusy tentacles. I don't like this at all, at all. This genuinely makes me uncomfortable. I hate this wand. Like I genuinely hate this wand. Like there's nothing about this that makes me want to buy this. I genuinely want your opinions on this product, probably more than any product that we're going to talk about today, because this wand definitely is very, very different. It's very unique. And don't get me wrong, I applaud brands for being unique and being different and, you know, wanting to just not go along with like the status quo. So don't get me wrong about that. But I just feel like sometimes I'm like, you're trying a little too hard. And I feel like this might be one of those moments. I don't like it. I don't like the shape. I don't like the bristles being so miniature. I'm just like, what are you grabbing? What lashes are you grabbing? Anyway, I don't I don't like this, but you never know. I could be so completely wrong. This could be the best mascara ever. And while I'm sitting here being like, this is looks 
so, so dumb. Like, I think this looks terrible. I absolutely want to try this. <laughs> like, I want to try this because I want to be proven wrong. I want to sit here and be like, this looks so bizarre and so gross and so weird. But I want to try this and I want to be mind blown and I want to be so impressed by this. So I absolutely want to try this out. I don't see a price anywhere on this. So hopefully it's not too expensive, but I definitely do want to try this out. So be on the lookout for a review from this. Next up, we have a new drop from Super Goop. So this is their new Protect Tint Daily SPF Tint. This is an effortless, lightweight, cushiony skin tint that meets powerful sun protection with light buildable coverage and a natural finish. This blendable skin tint was created to leave skin looking immediately smooth and even while delivering effective SPF 50 protection that has ectoin, hyaluronic acid infused clay and zinc oxide. There are 14 shades that retail for $44 each. Mm, that's a bit pricey. They come in, I'm not gonna read all these shades because it's a mouthful, but you can see them here. These will be available March 4th on the Sephora app and March 5th at sephora.com and March 8th in stores. Now, somebody that doesn't go out into the sunlight ever like I have not gone out into the sun or tanned or anything like that in years and years and years products like this don't really apply to me but I obviously know that they apply to so many people out there in the world and I've heard nothing but good things about the brand super goop in general so I really think that this is gonna be a product that's gonna appeal to so many people and as far as like the price point I do think it's pretty expensive for just a daily tinted SPF I mean honestly you could make products like this at home with plenty of your skincare and moisturizers and foundations that you have. You can make your own tinted moisturizers, my point, very, very easily. So like you really don't even need to buy this in general. But if you wanted to buy this product, I would, I would assume that you'd probably be happy with it because like I said, I hear a lot of good things about Super Goop. Again, $44 for this and for that little amount of product is a bit over the top. There's plenty of brands out there that have tinted SPF. So like I feel like you don't need to buy this, so like I probably wouldn't recommend this anyway, even without having used it or this brand. I just feel like you definitely could spend half the price and buy things that are probably gonna be as good, if not better, than this brand or this product, so like keep that in mind. Next up, we have a drop from Guerlain. Y'all are like, mm, Guerlain, that sounds familiar. Yeah, they're the brand that's like hella expensive that we talk about here quite often because they are dropping products like crazy, which, I mean, I love that for them. They're coming hard for us in 2024, but they are a rather expensive luxury brand, and that's fine. I'm not buying anything for them probably ever. I'll live vicariously through those of you who can afford them and do buy their products, but that will not be me in any foreseeable future. Help me, I'm poor. But this is available now in Europe. Up. So it is a new terracotta blush. This is formulated with 90% ingredients of natural origin that reveals cheekbones with a delicate color, evoking the freshness that rises to the cheeks after an escapade in the great outdoors. What a description. This has a light and airy texture, long wearing and comfortable formula. It comes in shades light pink, deep coral, light coral, deep nude, light nude, and deep pink. This is marked as coming soon to other countries and stores. As far as the shades themselves, I think that all six of them are pretty on their own, but I'm looking at these swatches and I'm like, where's the colors? Where's the pigment? Where's the payoff? And I'm like looking at the swatches on the models and I'm like, where's the pigment? There's quite literally nothing there. I mean, look at 01, light pink. On that girl, that is the color of a sheet of printer paper. Where's the pigment? There's nothing. There's literally nothing showing up on these girls. Nothing. And you know that blush is about to be a hundred bucks because it's girl on and there's literally nothing showing up. <laughs> I can't. And I won't. So we're gonna move on to something else. This next drop is from First Aid Beauty and when I tell you I was so excited. Okay, First Aid Beauty let everybody know over the weekend that they have a new bump eraser body scrub. So this is their strawberry scented version. So I have used their KP body scrub for literally years. Like I have one in my shower right now and I use it all the time because I still get these like little red bumps all over my arms. Like I just always have. I shave my entire body so maybe that's why. But I use this for like a full body scrub from like the neck down. It's amazing. I use it so much. It's my absolute favorite body scrub ever, 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 ever. It's so, so good. But now it comes in strawberry and I love strawberry scented anything. So like I cannot wait. I will absolutely be buying this. No matter what, I'll buy several of them. But anyway, for those who have never used this before, let me give you a little verbatim description. This will sweep away dry, rough bumps associated with KP and strawberry skin to reveal healthier skin. Sloth away KP bumps and strawberry skin fast acting formula with chemical and physical exfoliants. Improves skin's texture and smooths bumps after just one use. No artificial fragrance. This retails for $30. And I can tell you a little does go a long way. The texture and consistency of it does just emulsify on your skin in a nice way so it's like you can use like this much in the palm of your hand and it will cover from like your hand all the way up to your shoulder onto your chest like 
you know, just that little amount. It, a little goes a long way is my point. So I can use one bottle and go from like the neck to the tips of my toes dozens and dozens of times. Like I can use it for a very, very long time. So don't even worry about it. And keep in mind, First Aid Beauty isn't the most inexpensive brand in the world. It's not the most expensive, but it's not the most inexpensive either. This is available now, so if you wanted to grab that, you can. I will be, like I said, buying several bottles of that because it's my favorite body scrub, so sign me the up. Next, we have a reveal from J Cat Beauty. This is their new two-in-one piece of cake blush and highlighter set. These look so beautiful. I've never used anything from J Cat Beauty, although I have heard of them several times in the past. So these are two different formulas and shades in one compact. The first layer has intense highlight that is packed with maximum shimmer, while the second layer will give the best flush of color on the cheeks with intense pigmentation. These only retail for $8.99, which is such a great price. They are in the shades One in a Melon, Having Fairy Good Day, and Cherry Sweet. These are marked as coming soon online at Ulta. So these are so pretty. I think all three of these are gorgeous. I love the color combos themselves. I think these are so pretty. The little cat indentation, like I'm the biggest cat person, like inside my mind, like in my body, in my heart, in my soul, I'm like a crazy cat lady. So like, I hope that when I die, I'm reincarnated as like a genuine cat lady because that's just, that's what my spirit tells me I'm going to be. So I think these are so cute. I definitely want to buy all three of these and I plan to. So as soon as these are available, I am definitely going to buy them. So be on the lookout for first impressions of these. Those are so cute. What do you think? And for $8.99, that's a steal. Like these are cute. I hope, I hope they work as well as they look. Cause don't these look like they'd work well? I think they would. So I'm gonna try them. All right, next is a drop from Too Faced. This is their new Disco Crush Eye and Face Sparkle. These are, quote, the most innovative glitter formulas you've ever used. A shifting shimmer formula that feels weightless and looks ultra luxe with iridescence that intensifies when light hits from different angles that applies with just one swipe, delivering maximum dazzle with no fallout and sparkle that just doesn't quit. Comes in the shade Hard Eyes, which is a shifting warm rose gold sparkle. This is marked as coming soon on their website and other retailers. This looks pretty. I'm just still kind of like conflicted when it comes to the brand Too Faced itself, just from some of their behaviors, actions, and mistreatment of individual people, honestly, and other creators or influencers in the past. I just haven't gotten myself to really want to trust the brand. I know there's different ownership and just different people involved in the brand. I just haven't gotten myself to really jump back into wanting to support the company. To be quite honest, I just need to do a little bit more research into the owners now and what they've done to rectify certain situations with certain people. But this product itself does look really, really pretty. And I think this would look stunning, especially on the eyes. I, I can imagine that would just be so blinding, but I think that's really, really pretty. I am curious on what this would retail. It, I don't see a price point for this yet, but I think this would look so pretty. Next, we have a gorgeous drop from LYS Beauty. These are the new higher standard cream glow blush sticks. These are described as creamy blush sticks that instantly brings a flush of color to the cheeks with an illuminating finish. These are lightweight, easy to blend with an instant pop of color and wearable luminosity that are dewy, ultra creamy formula that layers perfectly to achieve a natural flush of pigment on the cheeks. A triangle shaped stick leaving cheeks with a healthy looking glow with green tea extract, watermelon seed extract, and rosehip oil. These retail for $20 each. They come in shades Focused, which is a warm cinnamon pink, Elite, which is a mauve, Bubbly, which is soft pink, curvy, which is perfect peach, unfazed, which is a berry plum, outgoing, which is a watermelon pink, which is exclusive on their website, and courageous, which is poppy orange, which is also exclusive on their website. These will be available on my birthday, February 22nd, on their website and Sephora. I think these are super cute, and I love the triangle shape because I know a lot of people like to just, the way they place them, they tend to really like that triangle shape. I think these are gorgeous, and the swatches are so beautiful. These look absolutely stunning, more so on medium and deeper skin tones than lighter and fairer skin tones. So I absolutely really, really, really love that. I think the components are gorgeous. And if the formula is spot on, I think $20 is a great price point. I'm definitely interested in trying these though, nonetheless. How about you? Next, we have a drop from Glossier. These are their new Cloud Paint Bronzers. These are a collection of seamless cheek color bronzer shades inspired by golden hour sunsets. So natural, it's like your skin made it. These are easy to wear and apply, while each shade is sheer enough to blend and layer without going overboard. These retail for $22 each. They come in shades Drift, which is a deep neutral bronze, Coast, which is a golden bronze, Swept, which is a medium neutral tan, Dune, which is a golden tan, and Sail, which is a light neutral tan. I don't feel like this is obviously a revolutionary concept because it's absolutely not. I don't really like the components. I feel like that that painting aspect has been done 
many, many times, especially recently. So like, it's not innovative. It's kind of boring to be quite honest to me. $22, it's not super expensive. It's not cheap by any means. I don't think Glossier needs to be cheap by any means at this point. And looking at the swatches, I'm like, okay, I, I, I don't know. This is not something that excites me. It's not something that I would purchase. And so on to the next. Next, we have a new eyeshadow palette from Pat McGrath. This is their Mothership 8 Divine Rose 2 Heart's Desire Edition palette. This is available now. This includes romantic rose-inspired cues presented in an elegant gold palette. There are 10 shades with creamy mattes, molten metallics, and sparkling glitters with a unique shade-shifting chromatic. This retails for a whopping $150. If you're new here, hi, I'm not really a big fan of Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes. I've used multiple of them. I'm not a fan. I just genuinely, as a professional makeup artist and someone who has used many, 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 many eyeshadow palettes from many, many, many different brands using many, many, many different price points, I don't find anything about the quality of her eyeshadow palettes that really justifies a $150 price point or any of her price points that are above $100. I've used all the eyeshadow palettes and I just I've never experienced a Pat McGrath palette and you can run your mouth all you want in the comments I don't really care I I've never used a Pat McGrath palette where I'm like wow this is mind-boggling this is the most innovative incredible over-the-top formula I've ever used I literally would love to pay double I get, let me spend a thousand dollars on this palette like I just have never used a palette from her where I'm like wow this makes sense why this is $150 and I've said it a trillion times and I'll say it a trillion more times at the end of the day, there are many times, and this is one of those brands and one of those people where you're paying for a name, you're paying for a status, and that's all it is. I'm not saying in any way that this is a bad brand. I'm not saying in any way that she's a bad artist or a bad person or this is a low quality product or a low quality formula. I'm not saying that whatsoever. The formula is just fine. It is absolutely a good formula. All I'm saying is that there's no actual reason as far as the formulation goes that it's $150 compared to many, many other products that are way, way cheaper that perform as good, if not better, is all I'm saying. So if you love her products and you love her eyeshadow palettes, fantastic. If you wanna spend $150, by all means, do it. I personally am not and would not spend that kind of money on a palette, again, because there's just, in my opinion and my experiences, no reason to. As far as this palette specifically, I don't personally like it. I don't like the shades in it. The only one that I do like is that pink. I think it's super gorgeous, but all the other shadows, there's nothing really in it that excites me. Looking at the swatches, there's nothing in it that really excites me. It just, I mean, I wouldn't grab this palette. I don't gravitate towards it. I don't personally like it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Now a palette I would gravitate towards is this next one from Nabla. So this is the Forget Me Not palette. These purples are so gorgeous. There are new shades of glitters and eyeshadows in matte and metal finish. The Ozonic are transparent base glitter with aqua and lilac reflex. Iris, which are vivid purple chunky glitter with indigo electric blue reflex. Saffron Flower, which is vivid lilac. And Hortensia, which is denim. I think this is so stunning. You know I love purples, I love the shimmers. I think this is so stunning. I absolutely wanna pick this up as soon as I possibly can. I think this is absolutely phenomenally gorgeous. I don't know, I feel like this week's recap was kind of like all over the place. I feel like there was a few like hidden gems in the midst of all these products, but I feel like overall, it wasn't really a good week of products. I feel like last week had a lot of good like really spring inspired, colorful, really good products. But I feel like this week was kind of like a dud. I feel like there just wasn't a lot of exciting products, but I feel like there's a couple little like gems. You know what I mean? <sighs> Not every week can be a winner, you know? I don't know. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions on these products in the comments below. So please sound off. Let me know what you think about price points. What do you think about these releases? What brands would you like to see drop new products this year? And what would you like to see those products be? But that's all I have for you guys in today's weekly beauty recap. I drop a new recap every single Friday. So please make sure you don't miss out on that. But that is all I have for you guys in today's video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to click that big red subscribe button so you can join my YouTube family. Don't forget to turn my notifications to all. And I'll see you guys in my next video.